Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around is Fast Food for the Atari 2600, brought to you by Telesis in 1982. Telesis did not make a lot of games. This is like only one of six that they made off of the 2600. And they went out of business before the year was over, and I believe the video game crash is the blame for that. And as you can see here, the rules are quite simple. You have to eat as much food as you can, get as many points as you can. You don't want to eat the purple pickles, and if you eat six of those, the game is over. I'm actually not controlling the game right now, that's just the demo mode as soon as you turn the game on. If you really want to start playing, you have to reset the game. Which I'm going to do now. And as soon as you reset the game, you'll just see the score on top, the gameplay screen on the bottom, and that little purple thing that's opening clothing that's a pair of teeth, and that is you. Nothing's happening right now, but as soon as you press the fire button, away we go. Doesn't seem as fast as the demo would want you to believe. Not yet. All you do is move the teeth around with the with the joystick. Almost wanted to say control pad, but we didn't have those quite yet. Not in the late 70s and early 80s. You move the teeth around with the control pad, and if you run into a food item, you will eat it. Different food items will give you different amounts of points. I know the green pickles give you just one point. And if you eat purple pickles, it does count against you. You'll see how many purple pickles you've eaten below your score. We're now on the second stage. And things, some of the things are getting a little faster. I wouldn't say everything, or things in general, just a few food items. This will get nasty. Also, we hit 500 points. If you had eaten any purple pickles at that point, one of them will be removed from below your current score. So that makes it a little easier. But it gets very fast, very quickly. This game isn't called fast food for nothing. The food seems to come out in three rows. An upper, a middle, and a lower. And the stages are really, really short and quick. But you can lose it pretty much any time, especially on the later levels. I just ran the three of those purple pickles already. This can be rather nasty if you don't know what to expect. I just ran the four. Probably because I'm talking, probably because everything's going so fast. I can't run into another one. I've also lost complete control of knowing what stage I'm on. I mean, where am I? Stage 4? Stage 5? Well, it doesn't matter now, because I've eaten 6 purple pickles, and the cafe is closed. And that's how a game of fast food goes. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go for a t good 10-minute video here. Get a little length, but not too much. I don't really want to wear this game's welcome out quite a bit. And, as you can see, just from that one session alone that I started this out with, games can go and end fairly quickly. And B, get used to seeing the you're getting fatter screen between rounds. It amazes me that they got away with that then. And if this game were made today, that screen would definitely be different. Also, you, you can take the time to get a breather, especially in the later stages, before you press the fire button and start the next stage. And, believe it or not, you can play this game with two players. I believe you have to press the fire button. No, actually, you have to play around the switches and then start the game. 
I know there's a two-player mode in there. I just forgot how to access it. Doesn't really matter to me, though. I'm only playing on the one-player game. It's not like I was expecting to play with a friend for the purpose of this Let's Play anyway. But here's the interesting thing about sw switching stages. Instead of just switching stages, when, you, when one person is done with the stage, the gameplay is then handed off to the second player. And wherever you were when you ended your stage, that's where your friend, the person you're playing with or whoever, will be located when they start their round. So let's say I was like somehow in the upper left-hand corner. If I end my stage there and it's time to switch to the other player, guess what? The mouth that is controlled on the gameplay screen does not change positions. It stays there, which means your friend or whoever it is you're playing with will be forced to move out of the way of some pretty fast food, especially in the later stages. This can be used to annoy your friends, obviously. And I've just eaten two purple pickles already. It kind of helps to stay near the edge of the screen, but not always. There will still be things that will be very hard to see coming. Because once you hit stages three and four, that's when some of the foods, especially the purple pickles, really start coming at you. Also, there will be one food per row. So don't expect, like, say, this popsicle to pop up with a pur purple pickle behind it. There won't be anything behind it until you eat that popsicle, like the one I just ate, that one that was going really slow. Like so. And I didn't even see that thing coming. And I just did a lot better. It's, it takes some practice to get a thousand points in this game. By the way, you do lose a purple pickle every 500 points. So, knowing how to move out of the way, just staying on the very far right edge of the screen in the later levels, it kind of helps. It also helps to be able to eat as much food as you can. And I have no idea which, which, which round I'm on now. I want to think that the cheeseburgers give you the most points. So many purple pickles. And then, of course, when every stage ends, not every stage, but every game ends with six purple pickles eaten, you get burp closed. So you really, you know, get a rather comical ending. Again, not sure if, if the game was made today. The creators, or whoever made it, in this day and age would be able to get away with that now. You never know what offends some people. But anyway, the brown number is the score from my session that just ended, and the one in white is from my last session. As you can see, I did a lot better. I'm going to try to do one more session of this game. Fill out a little bit more time. And after coming out of like probably a six or seven stage session of this game, seeing the foods move really slowly compared to those later levels, kind of jarring. But it definitely helps to get as many points as possible. And yeah, those cheeseburgers or hamburger. yeah, it is a cheeseburger. The bigger burgers are the cheeseburgers, and those are the ones that give you 20 points. That's the most you can get off any one food item at one time. So we got cola, we got soda, we got pickles. Ah, had to bite a bullet there somewhere. We got drinks, we got fries, we got shakes. What looks like nachos. Milkshakes. That's my best guess as to what all these foods are anyway. And there's the purple pickle I ate getting erased there because I hit a 500 point mark somewhere. Right there. Alright, I believe that's the third stage that I'm on now. Let's try this to, for real this time. And I really should have gotten that cheeseburger. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, you really want to 
realize that the big cheeseburger is the one you should get. The bigger burger. Because that's the one that gives you the most points, and that gets you quite a bit closer to a, the 500 point mark necessary to remove at least one of those two purple pickles that I just ate. And of course, the pickles just give you a lowly one point. Not fun. And we're getting fatter as we get closer to a longer video. Let's see here. Let's see how well we can do this time. Really fun game. You can kind of see what stuff is sometimes. Kind of held hard to tell what some of the food items are. Some of them you can identify, others you can't. I remember when uh, James Rolfe and Mike Matei, or Matai, or whatever, however you pronounce his name, played this game. They thought the purple pickles were eggplants. Which actually kind of brought up the whole eggplants and gaming and why are they bad. Also, I swear some of those foos were moving up as a, in addition to towards me as well. Just kind of seemed that way. Uh, I can't believe I actually got towards that. Why did I do that? And I did not see that purple pickle coming. Anyway, th yeah, they said they were eggplants, but I kind of want to see them as purple pickles. I, they, they just come off to me as looking more like purple pickles. I'm just going to call them that anyway. I mean, would you really want to eat a purple pickle? I'd eat purple ketchup. What was it that Heinz had? Easy Squirt? Yeah, and there was a green variety of that kind of ketchup, and there was also a purple variety. And I always got the purple variety. Stinks that they don't make it anymore. But what can you do? This is discontinued food heaven now. And we've reached the 10 minute mark of the video. We're pretty much past that. Like I expected this video to do. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Join me next time for another game. I don't know what it's going to be. But it's going to be something. I'm pretty sure of it. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Th thanks for watching and see you guys later. And I just now realized I need to actually mention that I recommend this. Go get it. Please go get this game. It's awesome. By all means. Very fun time waster for a couple of minutes. But you just might get hooked. You never know. See you guys later.